said G said he felt that there was some type of spell or ritual used on you. It's possible. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, going to I Shre- was totally okay. Go- with going it. to Shreveport, which is you know Louisiana. I got um, an interesting relationship with Louisiana. Let Joker finish. Yeah. Th- do you feel he was using a manipulation tactic? He might have been. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't now, care. I, I, w- I would say I would say um I don't know what his intentions were, but I would say my job was to be open to him so that he could trust me, so that I could bring him the word of God and he could convert. Real life. Real life. Real life. Goom, <laughs> from your military training, your background, this is your wife. Um, and when she goes on, you know, let, I don't want to call her a rat, but when she tells her truth. Mm-hmm. Um, what, call me a rat. I'm a rat. Come and get me. Come and get me, bitches. It, what, what? Rats go hard. <laughs> Rats can eat a whole fucking dog, yo. Mm. What do you do mentally to say, all right, I'm going to be in reaction mode because, again, She's she's staring up the nest, and no one wants the nest to be stared. I'm staring up the nest. I'm kicking over it. I'm kicking that Oof. shit. I'm fucking Oof. like like now. Nah, I was no. Nah, I was talking to my friend today. I was talking to my friend Lux today, and Lux was like, "Jag, I just need you to be careful." Before I'm like, "Nigga, we passed before. We here. We are here. We here. We are here. I'm not preparing. It's fucking war, <laughs> nigga. This is Sparta, bitch." I'm kicking the fucking messenger in the pit. We fucking here. You know, fuck. I like it. All right, so let's do it like this then. <laughs> let's do it like this. Uh, the reason why y'all are even on this couch together is that, you know, Goomba himself has a story that people love to hear. Yeah. And um, yeah. let's touch on it. Uh, I really just want, and we don't got to go through everything. We've seen everything, mm. and y'all spoke on y'all own platforms, and we want them to send them to Dallas Deaf TV Network to make sure that they get the real story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah where the, that's where the real yeah, story yeah. is at. Yeah. Um, but they do want to know, um, again, you've already said it, but the status of Solar, the status of that situation. What about Solar? So, he y'all made talking to you. Y'all made oh. mute. No, yeah. I'm sorry. No, Jesus. Y'all made well, music. You've been talking yeah, so and, and, and this, lately. You this, know. this for both of y'all, because y'all made music. And y'all actually have an episode that is that on Dallas Deaf Network. Fire as fuck. Which, yeah. Welcome to the circus is fire as fuck. Welcome to the circus. But I think I think there's another producer that's sitting in his room that could probably make that track even better, though. I think OD can make track that track even better. Possibly so. The like track, shit. Then why can't I'm about for it. Why can't Shout OD? out OD. Because it's the shit I heard earlier that, that he did for Big Homie Show. Yo, that shit why is awesome. Why can't OD you do the saying? remix? Do the remix. He can do the original and the remix. So it doesn't really Listen fucking matter. To me, but the original's already done. That boy is in Arizona drinking on them wait, powder ass milk so, ass titties. Wait. OD sitting right Y'all here. I'm talking about that girl titties. You talking <laughs> about the girl's <laughs> paperwork. No, wait, so wait, what does it matter? Wait, so, so Jack, this is all I got to ask you. A lot of people felt that Solar was coming in and he was disrupting what you were about to become. Maybe he and was. Did you did you feel in any point in time that there was probably some intentions? I in didn't him? care. Oh, okay. Okay. God put a calling on my heart. Everything happens for a reason, without question. When we came back into touch through Genesis by Tim's widow. Yes. Um, by Tim, God bless, God bless the dead. Definitely. Uh, thank you for that, Keith Murray. Definitely. And speaking of religion yeah. and what? Oh yeah, Solar. Yeah, let's and Velvet. Yeah, because I'm just curious. Because God came to me and asked me to minister to these people. Okay. Which is good. They're married. Which is good. I found them a preacher yeah, in I, a church. I, I met Solar and Velvet, and they seemed like they were on a righteous path from the. Five minutes I met him. Listen to me. <laughs> what fucking, what that fucking nature nigga did. Yeah. That's right. right. He was telling yeah, me. That, he, that shit fucked up. Now I ain't gonna lie, but Solar said, he told me, he said, yeah, nature was fucked up, but he said, I was behind it though. He was the carbonation. Listen to me. Ringleader. I yeah. don't want to have no. That's, and he told me the same thing about that. With too. none of that carbonation. I only deal with the carbon island. There you go. And the carbon island is the refugees. 
That left. And I'm that, that left the carbonation, and I want to help them. They want to get straight. I want to see Velvet and Solar get married. Yeah, Velvet seemed For like real. a Velvet seemed like a beautiful soul. I mean, it just Listen you know me. the child. These, I mean, these are yeah, smart yeah, yeah. kids. Yeah. yeah. What's fucked up is they were just misled. He fucking knew what he was doing because he used their intellect to enslave them. He was pimping one. Yeah, we, we yeah we seen it on camera. I right. literally watched. So and I watched and that white man fold Nature Boy over. Him. Yeah, it, it, hey. I've seen the yeah. sex tape. I've yeah. seen no, the porno. Listen, listen. Because he worked. You he went worked. in for a physical, fam. Yes. yes. You work. Listen, my. I know you take it care of. I know you're going to carry right in jail because you know how to toss that ass up, Nature <laughs> Boy. He tossed that shit up yeah. like a pro. Nah, I was uh, taking lessons. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. So, <laughs> right? He said, I'm going get He said, I'm going get God damn it. I'm done. He said, I'm going I'm through. I'm she, through. She, she want to be on the couch. She want me as a shit. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so, wait, wait, wait. So, so, so. You G can talk. No, so, no, so, no. G said, G said he felt that there was some type of spell or ritual used on you. It's possible. Yeah, and I ain't going to lie. Going to I was totally go okay. Going to Shreveport. Which is, you know, Louisiana. I got um, an interesting relationship with Louisiana. That joke will finish. Yeah. Do you feel he was using a manipulation tactic? He might have been. Okay. I um, don't know. Yeah, I, don't now, care. I, I, I would say, I would say, um, I don't know what his intentions were, but I would say. My job was to be open to him so that he could trust me, so that I could bring him the word of God and he could convert. You ought to be glad you used the word of God in there, because I'm just about to cut. Uh, yeah, you know, about to say that. I'm, I'm, I'm just about to hit I'm the gavel. You got it. Open what? No, no, definitely. Yeah, ain't shit supposed to be over with nobody but me. Even there. with your enemies, you have to be That's vulnerable. That's true. That is true. No, again. That's true. So that you can show them. And you can learn them. It's almost like a child. Yeah. You're not supposed to forsake a child that is yours. You're supposed to try to learn it, mm -hmm. figure it out, and allow My a job is mm -hmm. to bring the word of God mm -hmm. and to bring the name of Jesus Christ to the lips of all of the Carbon Island people. And in that, a great work is going to be done. Mm -hmm. I pray for all of you every day. I consider you all my nieces and my nephews. I love you all. If there's anything I can do to help any of you, I will do it in the name of Jesus, I promise you. And lastly, um, and I- I'll I want Velvet and Solar to get married for that baby. I want them to have a real marriage. Yeah, no. I want to. I want to hold that baby. That's the one baby I haven't gotten a chance to hold yet. Mm -hmm. Last baby you held, you got us all sick. So I'm tired of you holding babies. Listen yeah, to it, me. It, it is COVID season. Shit. Yeah, leave, leave, leave. <laughs> and, the, and these little ones are carrying leave, the real leave, shit. Look, they are like, lethal weapons. No, but yeah, but you you have you have spoke on them a lot. You, yeah, every yeah, time you go live, you speak yeah. on them oh like. Oh my yeah. god, no, the, the yeah. little peanut, the little Eminem mm -hmm. face. Is so man, cute. it was almost worth the hell. <laughs> Almost. The next time I came over, I had on a mask. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm gonna cover up the next time. We had hazmat so, suits on. And I got the little lovings from the. And then I got to feel the mama's ass. It's so supple. Oh my god, ass ass is just. So real quick, do you believe Goomba and the in the situation at the barbershop that he, I believe he wanted he, no harm to come to you? I believe that he believes what he believes. Do you feel he wanted harm to come? I to you? believe that. I believed what I believe. Okay. Yeah, okay. I believe that what y'all saw at that barbershop was, as Heath Ledger said it, as the Joker in the movie. What happens when an unmovable object meets an unstoppable force? That's what y'all saw. So which one am I? It doesn't matter. Okay, you're right. Yeah, they both they both are gonna <laughs> I just want I'll say, to you're, to you're the unstoppable object. <laughs> I was saying, right. L T. <laughs> um so. it was triggering to me because I'm watching this young man who I know needs my help. Ah, uh, yeah, he does. Or some help. And some every help. young man that comes into my life that I minister to. Reminds me of my son. 